And my name is Austin. I am the Accessibility and Assistive Technology Coordinator for St. Mary's College of California. And today I'm going to be going over Kurzweil 3000 and how they have recently added a mobile friendly version of their website, which is compatible with uh, Android and iPhone smartphones. So I am using my iPhone and I am at Google and I'm going to type in Kurzweil 3000 login. And when I type that in, I'm going to be directed to the Kurzweil login page. So I'm going to click this link where it says login to Kurzweil 3000 and I'm going to log in. I'm going to enter my username and password. I am now logged into Kurzweil. And you'll notice a lot of the same options are there that is in the desktop version of the website. You can see Google Drive, Bookshare, Computer. I could add files just how I would um, there. It would ask me, do I want to upload a photo from my library or browse a file using like the Files app if I click on that computer icon. Um, but what I really want to focus on is the main thing you really want to do with your iPhone is play audio maybe in the car or something. So I'm going to click on my profile. And I'm going to go to the private folder and I'm going to click on uh, spring 2018 and click on they shall be heard. And I'm going to have that play. And the way I've now clicked on the folder in order to get to the um, audio, I'm just going to click the X button here and it's going to close. And I'm going to click on the file. And now it's opening up in Kurzweil, and I can just click the play button. And notice dark mode's enabled. This is a new look for Kurzweil, but you could disable it by just clicking that button there. But I'm going to leave it enabled and click play. Dedication. Alex Harry was general editor of the first books in the Metro Nonfiction Book Bag. In this role, he provided editorial direction through all stages of book development and wrote the special introduction for each selection. Those of us who so I, it would play the audio and what I can do if I want to adjust the voice or anything, I'm just going to click on that little audio options button the same way I would on the desktop site and you'll see I can choose a different voice if I wanted to. So I might choose Lucy who also has a British accent and I might make the reading a little bit faster and what I could then do is just click back over here and click uh, maybe we'll click play for the for the bottom paragraph the books in the metro nonfiction book bag are Alex Halley's contribution to the education of America's young people this book is respectfully dedicated to his memory we would like to thank the library so what you'll notice is that after it got to the end of the page it immediately went to the next page which means that you are have total hands-free listening. You don't have to be there to go turn the pages. Kurzweil will automatically turn the pages just like it would on the desktop uh, website. And you also have access to the other features of Kurzweil, including the bookmarks, highlighting, notes. So I'll just quickly demo that I can do some highlighting. So I will highlight this uh, part right there. I could click and add a sticky note. A lot of the annotation and note-taking features are all there and you can use this on your iPad, on your Android tablet, as well as the iPhone and smartphone. But the big point is this means there's no need for MP3s any longer. You can just listen on the go and this, use the same custom settings that you've been using on, your de on the desktop version of the website. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I hope you have a great day.